ஹலோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு லேர்ன் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் இன் டுடேஸ் டாபிக் வி ஆர் கண்டினியூவிங் வித் ஆர் செமி கண்டக்டர் எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் இன் லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி லேர்ன் டெல் த பிஎன் ஜங்ஷன் டயோட் அண்ட் ஃபார்வர்ட் பயாசிங் ஓகே ஸோ இன் ஃபார்வர்ட் பயாசிங் இன் பிஎன் ஜங்ஷன் P type is connected with positive terminal and N type is connected with a negative terminal isn't it because of that potential region as that is depletion region as decreasing and the effective potential will be V minus V0 isn't it uh, so that and all we learned about the forward biasing today we are going to study about the reverse biasing okay so pn junction diode pn junction diode under reverse bias a reverse biasing so what is this reverse biasing first we will draw the pn junction diode so this is p type here it is n type here at the junction what will happen this electrons will be accumulating over here and here again electrons here it is holes positive charge this will be here okay so this is the potential barrier barrier potential it is v0 this is pn junction diode okay so here along with p if i am connecting a negative terminal and along with n if i am connecting a positive terminal of an external supply it will be under reverse bias so what will happen here it is negative terminal so electrons are coming here so because of that what will happen here this potential here it is negative here it is positive isn't it so here again it is negative terminal is connected over here so both are in the same direction v0 and v are in the same direction so if it is in same direction what will happen to the effective voltage effective voltage will be v e v plus v0 because it is in the same direction so v plus v0 will be the effective voltage effective voltage is v plus v0 means that is barrier potential is increasing because negative charge is increasing over here here positive charge is increasing over here so barrier potential is increasing because of that barrier potential increases okay this helps to increase the barrier potential so the electrons the holes can't move to the side and electrons can't come to the side also because barrier potential again increases but see here electron in p region while we are considering the p region majority carriers are the holes majority carrier is hole holes are the majority carriers but still minority carriers are existing over there right which are the minority carriers electrons are the minority carriers same way in n side minority carriers are minority carriers are holes isn't it so what will happen because of this negative charge the minority carriers in the p region that is electrons in the p region which is near to the barrier will be jumping towards or drifting towards the n region which is majority part so minority carriers will be uh, coming to its majority region so here electrons are the minority carriers so minority carriers because of this negative charge what will happen this electrons will be shifting towards the uh, n region where 
it is electrons are the majority carriers over there okay so here and all the electrons won't go then which and all electrons will go the electrons which is coming to this region near to this barrier potential region okay which is coming near to this depletion region will be jumping towards the n region so because of that minority carriers because of minority carriers a uh, current will be flowing okay carrier current will be flowing in the current will be flowing in the reverse bias region but the amount of current will be very less because they are minorities isn't it so amount of current generated will be very less the current produced in that region will be very less so they are called as see it is how we can measure that one in the forward biasing we were measuring current using a milli ampere here we will be using a micro ampere it will be measured in micro amperes okay so here micro ampere mu a okay so in minority carrier because of that minority carriers the current developed will be very small so what will happen this uh, it will be measured with the help of micro amps so barrier potential is increasing i told so how we can represent that barrier potential region with the help of a diagram see if the potential was here we go barrier potential while we are applying the ap Uh, external voltage what will happen barrier potential will be increasing as the potential is increase as applied voltage is increasing according to that this potential region also will be increasing okay it is increasing as we are giving applied voltages okay so here this current is shifting so this minority carriers are shifting to this side but here because of this negative terminal here we are getting electricity this negative charge electrons are more over there isn't it here positive charge more positive charges are coming so after that what will happen after a particular point particular voltage what will happen this will be more current will be flowing through this system that is to that is called a breakdown voltage after a particular voltage okay so it will be reaching to a particular region potential barrier is increasing and after a particular voltage if we are again increasing the applied voltage what will happen a sudden growth of current that is more current will be flowing through the circuit because of this electron and this is positive charges okay here positive charges more and here negative charges more so it will be flowing because of this uh, uh, more num if after particular voltage so that voltage is called a break down voltage okay so break down voltage represented as v b r so how we can explain this breakdown voltage see when the current in the reverse bias region increases sharply the applied voltage given as called a breakdown voltage the when the current increases sharply because usually the current will be very small uh, because of this minority carriers but after a particular voltage current will be increasing sharply so when that current is increasing sharply that a voltage that applied voltage is called as breakdown voltage okay clear so these are the major concept in this so practically while we are doing this how the graph will be getting how we will be connecting this pn junction that and all we are going to study now okay so now we are going to study how we can connect the pn junction diode uh, in a practical circuit so you will be having a pn junction diode with you how we can connect as i told you in the reverse bias p side will be connected to the negative terminal and n side will be connected to the positive terminal so here while i am giving this p side is connected to the negative terminal and n side is connected to the positive terminal so we can vary this and i am giving a switch also here and i am giving a 
micro amp over here micro ammeter i am connecting and voltage is connected in parallel to that okay so this is negative this is positive so this is the reverse bias circuit diagram okay so what will happen we will be slowly increasing the voltage applied voltage will be slowly increasing while we are applying the applied voltage so we are drawing that in the negative region okay this is the current in micro amps so so we will be increasing the current slowly so voltage while we are increasing slowly what will happen while we are applying external voltage what will happen minority carriers will be give, gener, giving a small current isn't it so initially itself you can see some point one or something current will be uh, going like that okay after a particular point it will increase very sharply Uh, okay practically it won't have uh, it won't happen very sharply over there a slight decrease will be there slight variation will be there then also it will increase very sharply so that point that voltage is called as breakdown voltage okay so till here this with the applied applied voltage current is uh, forming very small amount isn't it that small amount of current is called a saturation current it is saturated saturation current okay the small amount of current which is developed due to the which is produced due to the minority carriers is called as saturation current and after a particular when the in the reverse bias condition when the current increases very sharply that current is called as that voltage uh, voltage with respect to that current is called as breakdown voltage okay so after the breakdown voltage also if we are giving more voltage uh, externally so the, this current is increasing rapidly like that after that also without uh, checking that one if we are increasing the current uh, again if we are increasing the applied voltage again what will happen it may damage our pn junction because pn junction uh, uh, then see that it will uh, after that it won't work because it is we are trying to overcome that uh, barrier potential right so it is it is not happening because barrier potential will be increasing to the maximum afterwards the current is flowing um, it's um, very easily through that isn't it so that should not happen so a particular rating will be there for our pn junction diode okay uh, while we are um, buying the uh, pn junction diode itself a rating will be there so after that rating we should not increase the voltage that is once the breakdown voltage reaches stop giving the applied voltage okay so clear how we are giving this uh, saturation what is meant by saturation current and breakdown voltage usually in uh, practical exams also they will ask you about the saturation current and the breakdown voltage and uh, in uh, in the forward biasing we already learned about the threshold voltage isn't it so here same way here also it's very important okay understood so here in the if i am considering the resistance so what is the resistance in this pn junction diode okay what is that resistance in the case of forward biasing forward biasing if i am considering resistance is very small resistance is very small and but in the case of reverse biasing if i am considering the reverse biasing see current is not flowing that much that too in micro amps it is flowing right so it is very uh, the current flowing is very small small amount of current is flowing through the circuit isn't it so we can see resistance will be very high compared to compared to forward biasing compared to forward biasing okay so here it is uh, depending on the uh, see the amount of current developed is not depending on the external voltage okay so it is uh, uh, this is the major resistance part resistance is very high in the case of reverse biasing and such resistance which we measure from this is called as 
dynamic resistance dynamic resistance what is meant by dynamic resistance it is the ratio of small change in voltage to the small change in current in the forward and reverse biasing is called as dynamic resistance in the case of pn junction would the ratio of even in the case of forward biasing and reverse biasing the ratio of forward this uh, change in voltage to the change in current is called a dynamic resistance so change in voltage divided by change in current that is called a dynamic resistance okay clear so this is all about the reverse biasing is it clear for you right okay so i hope it is clear for you and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye